channel. Today is the next step in my series of Christmas presents that I'm selling for my family and I'm gonna tackle the shorts today. So I have shorts to make for my dad, shorts to make for my brother, shorts to make for my nephews and today we're gonna start with the adult shorts. I'm making two for my dad. I got the fabric from Spoonflower and it's linked in the description down below if you wanted to get the print yourself. The cotton I got, while the quality is really good, for these shorts it's probably a little bit stiff, so I've gone ahead and used a leftover of the linen which I used for my mum's present to make another pair of shorts for him, and I think that's just going to be really cute because then they're going to be matching too. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. The pattern I used for this project is the Simplicity 8659 pattern, and I went and made view A. It's a 1950s vintage reproduction pattern of a cabana set, and I really loved the shirt out of this. I've made a linen shirt for my dad before, and this time I just decided to make the shorts. I did add pockets to this because I thought that that would just be a nice addition, and remove the front coin pocket that was on the shorts. The first step was obviously to cut out the fabric, and I had to change my strategy here a little bit, and instead of cutting on the fold, I split the front and back pieces down the side seam. This was so that I could add those pockets in. Once I'd done that, I went and marked all the placements, so the where the waistband was, all the notches, and also where I wanted my pockets to fall. Once I'd done that, I could sew the pockets to each of the pieces just to kind of tack them down um, and secure them in. I batch sewed this, so I ended up doing that for all the pieces at the same time and also overlocked that seam. The next step after this to get me to the point where I could use the pattern instructions was to sew up the side seams and I made sure to sew around the pocket bag when I did this so that they would remain open. At this point, I got really busy at work and a lot of life stuff kind of caught up with me. I did do my brother's shorts off camera and was finishing the dungarees at the same time. But yeah, I didn't do much sewing for a little while. So it's the Thursday before Christmas on the weekend and there's nothing like a deadline to get Helen motivated. So we're going to finish off the other half of the presents. So, uh, so far you should have seen a video about my mum's dungaree presents, which I loved. They looked so cute uh, and she looked adorable in them. Now I've got to finish off my dad's shorts. I've been filming as much of as possible, but if I'm honest, I haven't really sewn much clearly because it's Thursday and I have maybe like a day and a bit until I see my family and I haven't finished his short or the kids present or the dogs present so yeah anyway I've done the let me just get this thread so my dad's shorts are I'm doing two pairs of shorts which you will have seen through this video and this is the original pair with the flamingos I've done the center seam and now I've just got to put them right sides facing in between each other and do the crotch seam and keep going like that. I finished my brother's shorts with a fold over hem but I think I might try bias binding on my dad's just to get like a nice crisp edge and I'm gonna do those little V slits again they're probably gonna go better with bias binding so that's the plan and we'll see how we go. So as I continued making these shorts, I sewed up the inseam and also the crotch seam. Okay, this is them so far. I kind of just realized he's going to have two flamingos at his crotch. Is it the front? That's not too bad, is it? 
it'll be fine. All I have to do now is the waistband, which is basically like overlock it, fold it over, chuck the elastic in, and then I'm gonna try my little bias tape V things. V things? Little slits so that he has more mobility. Yeah, slits for mobility, and then we'll see. Okay, we have a waistband. I'm not sure about if this really worked very well. The fabric is kind of weird. I don't know, that's why I'm making the second pair, just in case these don't really turn out that well. And then this is sort of where things started going a little bit pear-shaped. Okay, so I used the bias binding to make a slit and I hate it, so we're gonna redo the whole pants. <laughs> looks awful honestly it's way bigger than I want it to be and it, it just takes away from the whole thing and I definitely don't want to just repeat this on the other side so I have just enough material to cut out this side of the pants again but it does mean I have to redo basically the whole thing so I'm gonna do that and I'll come back Once I'd gotten my dad to try on the shorts, I realized that they were way too big and I took about 15 centimeters of elastic out of each row. This took a bit of fiddling, but in the end, if it means the shorts fit him, I think it's worth it. Project, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below your favorite part. I ended up making three pairs of these shorts. One from the flamingo cotton fabric that I got from a spoon flower, one from the blue duck egg linen, and a third for my brother from the uh, cotton canvas twill in that tropical print. Hopefully they fit. I've never made anything for him before and I just went off waist measurements so fingers crossed it worked out.